as we come across information online, it is incredibly important that we take the time to evaluate and think about the credibility of what we're reading. This is true whether you are reading news, doing research for class, or on social media and come across facts that you think are interesting or want to share or maybe might change how you view an issue. So, um, the reason that we're doing this mini lesson, the quick video, is because it's so important for if we're going to be engaged with civics, to be engaged with our community, to be engaged with voting, through voting, um, or just in any way that we engage with each other online. It's just very important that right now in our digital age, we have the tools to evaluate news and information that we're encountering online. So, I just want to say, like, the main thing is that you just need to treat the information that you find whether it's in the news or on social media, with a skeptical eye. Um, I think that in the past, a lot of people have been scared of social media, saying that that is um, not a reliable source of information. But I don't know about you. I get a lot of my news and information from social media. Um, it is uh, the reality that we get news and information from social media. And social media is not bad. There are many times that social media has um, made, brought attention to stories that needed attention that otherwise the mainstream media was not picking up. So uh, social media is good, but because we don't really know all the authors of who is creating these, um, who's sharing news online, um, what we're reading when we're reading on social media, it's very, very important that we read with a skeptical eye and we do a, some of our own investigating. What that looks like, um, the two biggest things that I think you should be on the lookout when you're evaluating the information you're encountering online is, number one, you should read laterally, which means you do not just read the source that you are viewing, uh, but that you open up new tabs and investigate the author organization and any claims that they make. Um, it is also incredibly important that you avoid your own confirmation bias. Look for perspectives outside of your own. So, back to reading laterally. When we read laterally, we look beyond the original source. You do a Google search, use Wikipedia, go to factcheck.org. Look beyond the original source to investigate some of their claims like going to factcheck.org, um, or just doing Google searches and Wikipedia searches about the organization and the authors of the information that you're looking at, right? Those pieces of information, the news organization or the nonprofit organization or the name of the website that you're looking at or the name of the author, doing quick Google searches about with those can help you determine whether or not they're an expert in the way that they claim to be an expert. Don't take their word for it. Look beyond their source for this information. So here's some things to think about. Who is responsible for this information? What clues and evidence is available on this site? So reading the About Us section of an organization, the byline, things like that. And do those credentials that they say that they have relate to the information that they are sharing? They have a PhD but maybe it's in French history, but this is a topic about global warming. Um, are there claims supported with evidence? Do you find evidence in the source? And then go and search again, do a Google search and search beyond. When you read laterally, investigate the organization individuals. Are there any red flags after a quick online search? If you're unsure about the credibility, can you verify the information elsewhere? If this is too good to be true or does not seem to match up with what you understand, look at other places beyond your usual places of looking. Expand where you're looking. Does this, does this still seem credible when you begin to expand like that? And then we want to also make sure, this is my second step, is to avoid confirmation bias. Understand your own bias and seek out a variety of perspectives for more complete understanding of the issue. 
when you are expanding your perspective, you can get um, perspectives from the right, the center, and the left. You can get perspectives from people who are on one side of an issue or on another side of an issue or an outsider looking in. Um, bias, I think a lot of times people hear the word bias and think bias is bad. And in some cases, bias sources can be bad. However, bias does not mean bad. Bias means that they are sharing one point of view. And if you only look at that point of view, you are missing whole other parts of the story. So when you're looking at the bias, what is the point of view that is being offered? Is this a stated bias? Or are they trying to hide it and look like they are unbiased but actually biased? How does this point of view shape the information? What kind of perspectives may be missing in the way that they are framing the story? And how is your bias, your own personal bias, affecting your perspective when you're looking at or reading this information online? So, expand your perspective. Are there other credible perspectives that you can find? Seek information outside of your normal bubble and consider other points of view. I have put together um, this presentation is part of an infographic that I have included on this page. So all of that information that I just shared is on this page under Evaluate Information Online. And then I have other sources on this Evaluate Online Resources and Media Bias. We have a website evaluation quiz that I put together a few years ago that helps you ask questions and consider the different nuances of whether or not a resource that you're finding online is appropriate for your needs. Navigating Digital Information is a series of videos from Crash Course. They are very straightforward, awesome videos that give you a variety of um, perspectives and information about how to do this difficult thing of navigating online information. And they specifically have a video about lateral reading, which I think is a key part of doing um, research online and evaluating any new sources that you come across. Here are some tips about doing lateral reading, and here is a quick video that talks about the importance of reading laterally. And then here's some um, resources to help you expand your perspective. Allsides.com is a resource that, it, that analyzes the bias of different news organizations and looks at news sources, current news, news that are in the events that are in the news right now, and then evaluates this is what news organizations on the right are saying, this is what news organizations on the left are saying, and this is what news organizations in the center are saying. Um, issues and controversies from Facts on File is another great resource. Um, it's one of our databases, and uh, for any topic that is in issues and controversies, it gives you background information about what people for the topic are saying, what people against the topic are saying, and then provides links to a variety of news sources, media, and uh, primary sources such as legislation related to those specific issues. And as always, your friendly librarian, Ms. Spreadberg, is more than happy to help you navigate some of this. Send me an email, set up an appointment either to come in in person or to um, meet with me over Zoom to talk about some of these issues. And if you are trying really hard to figure out whether or not to trust a source, let me know and we'll try to figure it out. Thank you so much.